Hello grade 5 students and welcome to this new lesson. Today we have Top Stars Part 1 in Module 5. Dear students, let's start with the objectives. By the end of this video, you will be able to learn 6 new words to use them correctly. Identify the main idea to answer one question. Locate details to decide whether the sentences are true or false through reading. My friends, you will find this lesson in your student's book page 56 and in your workbook page 48. Dear students, let's start with the first objective. Learn six new words to use them correctly. So let's start. My friends, look at this thing. It is made from tomatoes and we put it on food. So what is it? It is ketchup. Ketchup. Do you want some ketchup on your burger? Which part of speech is the word ketchup? It is a noun. Dear students, look at this thing. It is a yellow sauce that we put on food. What do we call it? It is mustard. Mustard. Ali usually adds mustard on his burger. Which part of speech is the word mustard? It is a noun. Now look at this picture. I think many people like this food. We eat it with sauce. So what do we call it? It is pasta. Pasta. Rami loves pasta with tomato sauce. Which part of speech is the word pasta? It is a noun. Dear students, look at this kind of food. It is a sweet food made from apples. So what is it? It is apple pie. Apple pie. Sammy wants to eat some apple pie. Which part of speech is apple pie? It is a noun. Dear students, look at these people. Where are they? They are in a restaurant. They want to have dinner and they are ready to order. Ready. Are you ready to order? Which part of speech is the word ready? It is an adjective. My friends, here we have two cups of coffee. What is the difference between them? One of them is with sugar and the other one is without sugar. Without. I drink coffee without sugar. Which part of speech is the word without? It is preposition. My friends, after learning the meaning of the new words, it is a good idea to pronounce them correctly. Here you are going to listen and repeat. Go on. Module 5. Top stars. 1. Vocabulary. Ketchup. Mustard. Pasta, apple pie, ready, without. My friends, open your workbook page 48, exercise number one. Here we have four sentences and you are going to complete them with the suitable words from the box. Let me help you to do the first one. One, would you like some cheese on top of your pasta? 
Now you can stop the video and do the task. Go on. Let's see the answers. Number two, you can't make an apple pie without any apples. Number three, mustard is yellow and ketchup is red. They make food tastier. Number four, are you ready? We must go now. We are late again. Well done. Dear students, look at the pictures. Who can you see? Where are they? What are they doing? Here you are going to go through the text to answer these questions. Go on. Let's see the answers. Who can you see? Here we see three girls, Fatima, Amal, and Alia. Where are they? They are in the school canteen. What are they doing? They are choosing their meal. Well done. My friends, open your student's book, page 56, exercise number 2. Here you are going to read the text to find out what does Amal have for lunch. Let's try to read. Go on. 2. Read and answer. What does Amal have for lunch? At lunchtime... Amal, what's this? Pizza. I love pizza. I eat pizza every day. Yes, but this is a lot of pizza. It isn't good for you. No pizza for you today. OK, I love cheeseburgers, but there isn't much ketchup on them. Alia, get me lots of ketchup, please, and some mustard. Lots of ketchup isn't good for you, Amal. I can't eat a cheeseburger without any ketchup. No cheeseburger for you. What can I have, then? There are many healthy meals, Amal. What would you like? Can I have some chicken with pasta? Chicken with lots of vegetables. That's healthy. Oh, OK. I'd like something to drink. Good idea. Shall I get you some milk? Yes, please. Anything else? Yes, some apple pie, please. Amal! OK, OK. No sweets. An apple. Just an apple. Let's see the answer. What does Amal have for lunch? Amal has chicken with vegetables, some milk, and an apple for lunch. Well done. Dear students, here you are going to read the text to answer five questions. Number one, what does Amal want to eat in frame one? Number two, what does Fatima say about Amal's food? Number three, what does Amal want to eat instead of pizza? Number four, what do the children tell Amal to eat? Number five, does Amal take some apple pie? Let me help you to do the first one. One, what does Amal want to eat in frame one? She wants to eat lots of pizza. Don't forget to underline your answers on that text. Let's try to read. Read and answer. At lunchtime... Amal, what's this? Pizza. I love pizza. I eat pizza every day. Yes, but this is a lot of pizza. It isn't good for you. No pizza for you today. OK, 
I love cheeseburgers, but there isn't much ketchup on them. Alia, get me lots of ketchup, please, and some mustard. Lots of ketchup isn't good for you, Amal. I can't eat a cheeseburger without any ketchup. No cheeseburger for you. What can I have then? There are many healthy meals, Amal. What would you like? Can I have some chicken with pasta? Chicken with lots of vegetables. That's healthy. Oh, okay. I'd like something to drink. Good idea. Shall I get you some milk? Yes, please. Anything else? Yes, some apple pie, please. Amal. Okay, okay. No sweets. An apple. Just an apple. Let's see the answers. Number two. What does Fatima say about Amal's food? She says that pizza isn't good for her. Number three. What does Amal want to eat instead of pizza? She wants a cheeseburger with lots of ketchup. Number four. What do the children tell Amal to eat? Chicken with lots of vegetables. Number five. Does Amal take some apple pie? No, she doesn't. Good job. My friends, open your student's book, page 57, exercise number three. Here we have six sentences and you are going to read the text again and write T for true or F for false. Let me help you to do the first one. One, Amal eats pizza every day. It is true. Don't forget to underline your answers on that text. You can stop the video and do the task. Go on. Let's see the answers. Number two. Amal wants a cheeseburger without any ketchup. It is false. Number three. Elia gives Amal chicken with pasta. It is false. Number four. Elia gives Amal some milk. It is True. Number five. Emil wants to have some apple pie. It is true. Number six. Emil gets two apples in the end. It is false. Good job. Dear students, look at these pictures. Here we have different kinds of food and drinks. Let me tell you what I would like to eat and drink. I would like to eat pizza and I would like to drink orange juice. What about you? What would you like to eat? What would you like to drink? Dear students, don't forget to record your sentences and share them with your teacher on Teams. Dear students, let me remind you of what we have learned today. We learned six new words and we used them correctly. We read a text to get the main idea and we answered one question. We read the text again to decide whether the sentences are true or false. My friends, I hope you have learned something in you. And I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. See you next time. Have a nice day.